When I was uh, getting out of high school, I was interested in the military. I thought perhaps I would make a career out of that. My dad was an officer in the Army in World War II, and I had already uh, always admired uh, military veterans, <clears throat> and I wanted to join military. And I liked the U.S. Marine Corps, and so I enrolled in a program called the Platoon Leader Course, PLC program, which involved a seven-year commitment, four years in the uh, reserves, and then when I graduated from college, I received a commission as a second lieutenant. Once I got through with my basic training in the Marine Corps, I happened to tie my service with the Vietnam War. So I was a member of a Marine Artillery Battalion, the 4th Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, that was deployed to Vietnam in 1966. <clears throat> and I saw combat in Vietnam with that group, and I also uh, was a uh, officer with the Korean Marine Brigade in uh, Quang Nai, Vietnam, as a Marine advisor. And so <clears throat> my experience in Vietnam and having people shooting at me and my fellow Marines gave me a sense of what it means to have a dedicated and well-trained enemy trying to kill you. <clears throat> and that experience has served me well as a criminal defense lawyer because in many ways going into court, sitting next to a person charged with a serious crime has the same objective, survival. We're trying to survive this attack from the state and it's about as close as you can get to military combat.